This is kind of a weird thing to do, but I'm gonna go hunt for a Caterpie. I really do like it shiny. I've said that numerous times. I like the whole shiny line of that. Uh, I, I, I like Caterpie and Metapod more than Butterfree's shiny, I'd say, but Butterfree's is good. It's just, I think I have the memory, like a lot of people my age, of uh, uh, the pink Butterfree, which, you know, wasn't a shiny, and uh, they really don't go that, like, in depth with that at all. But there was this whole island of pink Pokemon and the orange islands, and, like, they totally could have lumped pink Butterfree with that, but for whatever reason, they just were like, nah. It's, it's gone now, it's in the past. So it's just like so many of Ash's uh, Pokemon are treated, I guess you could you could say. But uh, so I need to check where this Caterpie is again. It's, I think I'm not going the right way even for it. I noticed the Stantler, which I was kind of excited about. I think the Caterpie is, it's not, it's not showing the, okay, there it is. It's not showing the little grass symbol on top for some reason, but I'm actually, I was just on my way to an event in Gardena and I made a little pit stop on the way there. Oh, my Millennium Puzzle is dangling, sorry. And uh, so, but the event doesn't start for another 50 minutes. So I figured might as well play some Go, explore a little. <laughs> Haven't gotten a seven day streak in a while. And uh, excuse the traffic rush hour just about. So I might not want to stream for too long. Number one, I'm running out of battery on, or uh, storage on this phone. And also, I should get to that event, and uh, it's for my dad's company. They're going to the Gardena Chamber of Commerce. A bunch of companies sponsor are sponsoring their event tonight, including my dad's company. So I'm going to just go and support. And uh, there's an I Love Sushi across from me. And my dad's company slash product, I guess, is LUV Systems. So, So there's that. My hair is pretty ratchet these days, I know. But it's the holidays, you know. So that doesn't mean anything. There's a place called Humble Brags right across from me. That's kind of kind of neat. I'm trying to figure out which way this other stop is. I think it's... Yeah, it's right that way. Right by the Lakewood Country Club. And I haven't been here before, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to just explore a little bit. I'm in a little bit of an anti-Manifest Destiny mood lately, but, you know, it's, it's, maybe I'll get over it. I'm in kind of an, a very anti, like, colonial mood lately, and it's just like, the way we live in America, and I don't know if it's like this, you know, elsewhere necessarily, but, like, it's just so expansive. It's sometimes not even healthy, like... You know, sometimes we should just know our place in life, if you, if you know what I mean. But, like, but like we, you know, we have this kind of craving to explore and, you know, do new things, go to new places. Sometimes that's harmless. Really, it's always harmless, but... There's a Mincino. Gotta check the Bidoof, because... Just because it's Bidoof, I don't really need to say any more than that, but I'll probably have to wear my hat at this event. I actually brought two hats that I could wear. I know I look a little bit run down right now, but like hair-wise and beard-wise, but it's all right. We're just going to roll with it. Shiny check a little bit. I did get a shiny Stantler last year, I think. Yeah, and it was, I think it was one of those event ones, though, so like, like, let's say I wouldn't be able to transfer it to Legends Arceus, I wouldn't be able to do that. Pretty nice country club. This is a part of Lakewood I'm not that familiar with, and I don't know if this is the Caterpie we were finding on the radar, but also I'm kind of just walking on the road, so... 
I've noticed uh, like yesterday it was raining and there were there were two caterpies at the school I was working at. So I think it's because it was raining then then you know worms come out during rain. They don't like to be in the hot where they dry up. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. I'm, I'm I'm tempted to to grab that that view. It's kind of geometrical and the moon's out and there's even a plane flying. Uh, that would have been a nice nice photo op, but maybe maybe it wasn't meant to be because right now the stream is meant to be and and I'm in it and I'm doing it. So I'm enjoying Pokemon Go a little bit more now. I don't know. It's just the holidays, so I'm kind of you know in a more relaxed mood or something. I don't know exactly what, but. But uh, I did do this half hour stream a few days ago, which was my first stream in like, gotta, gotta have been over a month. And I was like, that video got blocked. I already talked about this in my last stream, but it was playing a song called Wild Boys and it's explicit. So it's a good thing it didn't publish really, cause I'm not like, you know, I, like I, I try not to swear. So shouldn't be in my streams either. We're approaching the Lakewood tennis courts here. But of course, the standards for swearing are kind of different now than when I grew up. The F word is kind of more common than I remember. It seems like people are desensitized to it. It's kind of the way liberal progress goes, it seems like. You just get desensitized to certain things that before offended us. That's kind of exactly how liberal progression seems to go, actually. The little political commentary in my in my streams is is is, is okay. I I think as long as my videos don't get banned in North Korea or something. So that was the Caterpie. It wasn't shiny, but I still felt compelled to check just because of that Stantler. It was like a it was like Harry Potter's Patronus luring me, luring me to repel the Dementors where the Dementors are a lack of Shinies because Shinies bring happiness and Dementors suck away that happiness and joy. So if you ever need to cast a Patronus, just remember just remember the first Shiny you caught and then cast your spell. I'm joking, obviously, but my first Shiny that I caught, other than the Red Gyarados and Gold, was... Uh, was, oh, another Caterpie. It was not Caterpie though, it was Ratatat. <laughs> of all the Pokemon, it's probably the most basic Pokemon you could catch. And that was my first shiny, so. I always make these videos for kids, just because I think that makes them more accessible. I don't know, like, YouTube's doing some strange things with their accessibility. Like, if I make this available for kids, I it used to be that no one could comment on it, which I guess is just because YouTube doesn't want to invest in moderating all the comments that are going to be potentially offensive for kids or too sensitive or whatever. So, so I think that's the... But then there's some different option now. I, I can do like advanced age settings, but I need to look a little more into that. And it's kind of sunset time now, so you could see it in the game and you could see it kind of there. The moon's out, it's sunset, it's nice. I like. So happy holidays. I should have worn my Santa hat in this video because it, it is in my car. Uh, I brought it because I don't think, like I've never had my own Santa hat, but now I have three for some reason. And the flyer for this mixer I'm going to had people wearing their Santa hats and, I don't know, drinking or something, so. So maybe I could be like that tonight. But I also have my aunt's company hat that I could wear. It would identify me as a member of the company that I put when I signed up for this event. Um, but I'm also wearing a Patagonia for my dad's college's alumnus club for Southern California. So 
That's uh, it's like I'd be repping my my dad and my aunt in that case. Which might be a little ratchet. Who knows? Maybe I'll wear both hats, one at each point, one at some point, one at the other point. You know, just for balance and, and such. Balance is good. It's key, even so. So on that note, peace out. If you get a shiny caterpie, then I want it.